Good morning, Flosstube. Welcome back to my uh, YouTube channel. This is, uh, my name's Mandy. This is my YouTube channel, Mandy Meets Stitches, about um, cross-stitch, mostly cross-stitch. Um, um, it is Sunday, June the 6th. It's kind of early in the morning. It's, well, not kind of. It's 8, 8 a.m. in the morning. Um, yeah, and I just thought I'd hop on here and film a quick uh, little update video. It's been a little over a week since my last video. Um, and yeah, not a whole lot has happened life-wise. Um, I, if you watched last week, um, you know that I had to work over Memorial Day, so my family went to West Virginia. They had a good time, um, came back Monday on Memorial Day. Um, yeah, and I've just, it's just been a week of work. Um, yesterday was pretty relaxed. We just hung out at home. Um, my husband pulled our camper up front so we could kind of clean it out because I think we're going camping next week, uh, next weekend, because I'm off again. So two weekends in a row off from work is pretty exciting. <laughs> um, but yeah, I uh, don't really know what else to say. I think my, my two little boys are getting sick. They both kind of have uh, fevers, um, but no really other symptoms. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that, but... So that's kind of why we just hung out at home yesterday. Um, so hopefully they'll hopefully they'll start to feel better um, as the day goes on. My husband and I feel fine, so that's good. Um, um, I don't really have any other life updates. So behind me is um, my uh, featured finish quilt of the week. I uh, I made this one. It was a summer stitch along in 2019 I believe um, so each week a new block was released um, oh, I can't remember it's a collaboration with three um, designers three quilt designers and each each block is supposed to be um, like a place that you've you would travel to um, and of course, I can't remember what any of them mean. They're all kind of exotic, I guess. One of them was the, um, not the Eiffel Tower, but the, oh, the Empire State Building. Um, and I think that was, that one was supposed to be a representation of that. I'm going to tilt you up a little bit because there's one more row. Oh, two more rows. I can't remember what they, um. One was like pyramids in Giza. Anyways, there, are, some of them are um, foundation paper pieced. Um, yeah, so it, it was a kit that I got. It was called Summer Sampler 2019, I think. Um, if you want, if I can give you the information if you are curious to know. Um, I just would have to dig it up, and I can't remember off the top of my head. But I, um, yeah, so I pieced all the blocks, I quilted it, and I'm not really happy with the quilting. Um, I should have done an all-over panograph, and instead I was lazy and just did, like, wavy lines, and... But, oh well, it's uh, functional. We actually keep it on our camper um, as the quilt in there, so, yeah. Um, okay, so that's it for that. I have two, two FFOs. I have quite a few um, stitched finishes and then several whips and some home so let's get started the first ffo i don't think i showed this last week i can't remember um is this usa jar by stitch with the housewives i um just finished it on this little block thing it's actually backwards this is the supposed to be the front um, and this is the backwards i just glued it on there magnet and washer it's on some sticky board that little rickrack was kind of, it's teeny tiny little rickrack and it was kind of a pain, I, um, pain to <laughs> put on, but, um, this is by Stitching with the Housewives, it's stitched on 14 count chalkboard black, um, two strands over one square, yeah, with mostly the call for colors. So that's one FFO, and then this one... There's another one, Stars and Stripes, uh, Forever by Bent Creek. Um, 
I, let's see, it's stitched on 16 count, so I'm going to tip you down a little bit, 16 count, beta, I think it's in Sandstorm, maybe Stitch Me, um, it's with Fancy Floss, I don't know if it's the called for or conversion, um, finished on this, this is actually a, a board I got from, oh, it says, I got it from the Target Dollar Spot, and it was actually a Christmas themed one, it said Mary, it says Mary, um, but I painted, so I chalk painted this blue, instead it was like a green, and I put it on sticky board, this is like some chenille trim, um, yeah, so I, I'm happy to have that finished, that was a mania start last year, um, and so I got it done in a little under a year. <laughs> Or a little over a year, I think. I don't remember when I started it. So, um, a couple of FFOs. If you've been watching me, for, or not FFOs, f um, finished stitching. If you've been watching me for a little while, you know that I um, was part of the Trucking Along series from Fat Quarter Shop and Stitching with the Housewives. And I'm working my way through. So, I got the February word. And then um, they're all stitched on 14 count chalkboard, Ada with the called for colors and this is the February truck um, I left off the chickens there was like a chicken here and a chicken here but I think it looks okay I don't think it looks too plain um, so I finished those that's like my car project um, and then I've got I've got the March we're done I'm working on the March truck now I have April and May and then I'll be done with the series June is hanging up on my, um, hanging up by my front door now. And then I'm doing the calendar crate series. Um, so this is land that I, uh, no, July calendar crates. I don't think it has a name. By Station with the Housewives. Um, this is the small. It's stitched on 14 count chalkboard black with the call for fancy floss. This I was able to stitch up and finish in one day yesterday. And then I got the um, the um, big one done too. Oh, this was a lot of stitching. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't look like it, but it felt like a lot of stitching. Um, and I left myself no border on the side, so finishing that is going to be fun. But um, it's stitched on a piece of 27 count Linda in black that I got from Fat Quarter Shop. I'm going to stitch, I think, all the bigger pieces um, on this. It was pretty, I liked working with it. Um, wasn't super hard to see, um, so I just got to FFO that before July. I'll hopefully do it today. A um, couple whips. Show you the march. Um, my progress on the march uh, truck. It's not not very far. I don't have the. Here's the cover what it's going to look like. And this is as far as I got. Again, 14 count chalkboard black. All four colors. Um, chalkboard black Ada. Oh, so I'll be pretty happy when that series is done. It'll probably take me another month or two, but it's my like stitching at work project. Um, Okay. What else? <laughs> this is a stitch along from Fat Quarter Shop, um, Lori Holt Flea Market Flowers. I'm behind. <laughs> um, here's, I have the Floss Keeper and all the, the colors are just beautiful. Um, I'm stitching it with a called for 25 count uh, Lugana. And I think it's Barley. Um, so I got all the borders done, and I got, I think this is all the green, this the stem green, and so I started on this big flower, but it's supposed to be on, like, part two this week, and nah, not keeping up very good with stitch-alongs, I've found. <clears throat> um, so that's, sorry, I'm rushing through this, um, 25 count. Lugana by Lori Holt and a colorway barley stitched two over two with a called for DMC. Happy.
<laughs> um, I pulled this one out, but I don't think I actually worked on it this week. I also put a few stitches in this beast. Um, Long May She Wave by Stitching with the Housewives. I had hoped to finish this this um, season, this summer, but oh, so much stitching. <laughs> And I don't, this is on 28 Count Monaco that I dyed myself, and I don't like stitching on it. Um, the Monaco is super thick, it makes my hands tired. I stitch in hand. I think it looks pretty, but it, yeah, it's hard to stitch on, is probably why I'm making such slow progress. But any progress is progress, I guess, so it'll get done eventually. Um, yeah. There's, it's the called for um, fancy floss, so there's the colors. No, I, actually, I'm using 3865 for the white instead of bamboo. And then this one I pulled out for a little bit. This is American Sampler House by um, Annie Bees. I started this like last, I think I started it in April. Um, it's stitched on a piece of, this is 28 count Ice Blue Lugana. I don't know if it's dyed by Southern Stitchers Company, but that's where I got it. Um, I don't have the floss on a ring. Ooh, sorry. It's just with floss from my stash. Um, and you can't really, I don't know if it's the poor lighting or what. You can see that white house better in person, but on camera. Um, so I got the flag pulled on. This is the ground in the house. Yeah, um, that should be a fast stitch, but finding <laughs> for things to be finished, you have to sit down and actually put a couple days into them. <laughs> I'm, uh, I haven't been so good about that lately. Okie dokie, and then. Two more wicks. Um, this one, I know I showed in haul last week. Um, Always Remember by Plum Street Samplers. I started this on uh, Memorial Day. And I've got decent progress. 32, this is a 32 count. Uh, it's a 32 count linen from Fat Quarter Shop. The color is rainy. Mm, what's the color? Something rain? I can't remember. I have it written down somewhere. Um, with, I don't think it's any of the, it maybe is one or two of the called for colors, but I mostly just pulled colors from my stash to match. Um, so this, I really like this linen. Um, it's not as Weigart base. I don't know what the base is, um, but it's a good like thickness and I don't know if they, they sell it anymore. Um, Fat Quarter Shop, I haven't looked, but yeah, I really like this. Uh, it's like one that they buy off of the bolt and cut themselves. Keeping it in my, uh, um, Kirkwood Crossing bag. Nice patriotic trucks. Super cute. Okay, and then my last, um, last, I started this as part of Colorado Cross Stitchers, um, Cross Stitch Summer Camp, Cross Stitch Camp, I think is the hashtag, um, basically, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> um, basically, no, my husband is putting my son in the bath. He probably pooped. <laughs> um, anyways, <clears throat> Colorado Cross Stitchers started a thing called Cross Stitch Camp. And basically, each month in, in the summer, so June, July, and August, has like a theme to it. And the theme of June was to stitch something that you were like inspired by somebody else. Um, so I started this, and I think the goal is to finish the project in the month, 
we'll see. Um, but I started this Pink Sparrow sampler because um, Melly Ellie Stitches on on Insta on Flesh Tube was um, stitching it, and I really liked it. Um, this is a with a needle and thread. Um, yeah, doesn't say her, her name on it actually, but it, I'm pretty sure it's a with with a needle and thread um, pattern. I'm stitching it on 28 count China Pearl by Wachell. And all I did so far was the top border. I actually had a little more stitched and I had to frog it because I was, I miscounted. Um, so, yeah. I'll, um, here's the floss. It's really pretty colors. That's what everybody says about it. It's really pretty colors. This is actually my first, my first like sampler with letters, with alphabet. So that's it for the projects, um, or the whips. So it was a pretty good stitchy week, um, especially with all those like trucking along finishes and that, that July calendar crates, that felt like a big, I worked on that for a long time yesterday. Um, because we mostly sat in front of the TV and my kids weren't feeling good. <laughs> so anyways, um, that's it for whips, like I said. Next is haul. So I placed an order with Fat Quarter Shop because I broke down and wanted to get some Chelsea's checks and some Priscilla's pretty plaids because of that calendar crates series and I was watching their um, finishing video and yeah. So I got those fabrics and then I just happened, I just got this Rabbit Run um, pattern and this um, Kaleidoscope Floss Keep. I got, I pre-ordered the book by Lori Holt. It hasn't come in yet, but. And then Crazy Annie Stitchin'. I'm in the um, Color and Cotton Fabric of the Month. This is April. I get a fat quarter of 28 Count Lugana. The color for April was Driftwood. It's a pretty, um, kind of brownish gray. So yeah, that's pretty, pretty. Um, I, through 3L Threads, I get the, um, Gentle Arts 10 skein nest egg, um, for 5 yards each, so that came in this week, um, Trade Wind, Gentle Arts Trade Wind, Terracotta, uh, Raven, Tropical Ocean, um, sage, tea rose, it's pretty pink, tiger lily, it's got a lot of variegation in it, um, holly berry, Sherman's Wharf, that's a really pretty, um, like, bluish, it's actually got a lot of variegation, I don't know if you can see it on film, but it's like a brown to a, a blue, and then, um, Toasted barley. So I got those. And then I had placed an order with um, Fiberlicious. Um, I think I can't, I can't remember if it's Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers or. Yeah, Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers, Fibers.com. Um, you can't see that. But this is one of the colors I got. Um, it's a 32 count lavender mist linen. This is a chalkboard linen. Caramel brulee, 32 count linen. This is why I, why I placed the order for this pressed petals. I think this was the, um, she does a fabric of the month and I think this was this last month's color. Um, and so then I also, did some floss. She does this like um, silk. It says hand spun silk, but it's like single strands. Um, so I bet it's kind of like Valdani. I haven't used Valdani, but I bet that's what it's like. But I just thought the colors were super, super pretty. Um, and then she had this 
Hanami color way pack with the pinks. And then this rose garden is also the silks. So I just feel like they're really pretty. Um, really pretty colors. And then my Be Stitch Me um, fabric of the month and floss came in. Um, next time I film, I will have a huge amount of Be Stitch Me fabric haul because I <clears throat> participated in Friday Night Fight Night. Not last night, but the last weekend. And I maybe went a little overboard, but I don't regret it. <laughs> so um, I've seen a lot of um, floss tubers show this already. So if you don't want to be spoiled, look away. But this is Stonehenge. I get the 32 count Madonna. It's a really pretty gray, um, gray color. And then the floss. I will put on my little board. Is like oranges um, and the yellow. So Phoenix is really pretty variegated one. Carnelian. Sunfire, fire, and sunflower. So just pretty, pretty, pretty colors. Be adding, adding those to my stash. Um, and then that's it. I don't really have plans for this week. Um, other than, you know, just when I, when I work, I'm going to work on trekking along. Um, today I'll probably work on that Pink Sparrow sampler to try to get more done on it if I try to finish it this month. Um, last night I was working on the Always Remember and that was pretty enjoyable. So my husband and I have, um, started rewatching Game of Thrones. Um, so we're, you know, just started on season one, but... That's what we've been doing, watching a couple episodes every night, and I can sit and stitch. And the episodes are long, so it's about two hours of stitching every night. Um, mm, yeah, I don't really have any other plans. Hopefully I'll, I'll do some more quilting. I have several quilts like cut up and kind of in the process of getting started, but I really have the itch to sew lately. So, um... I don't know what else to say. <laughs> thank you for, um, thank you for all the people who have, you know, continue to watch me every week. I really appreciate uh, the thumbs up and the comments and the likes and all that stuff. Um, and then if you're new, I hope you liked what you saw. This was a, I wish I could say that this was not a typical video, but it was, it's a pretty typical video for me because I'm disorganized and kind of rambly. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, thank you for tuning in. Um, I would love it if you'd subscribe. Um, I probably am, I keep thinking I'm going to do a giveaway, but I never, um, remember to pull one. So maybe next week. <laughs> Just, anyways, um, thank you again for tuning in, and I hope you have a good week, and I will catch you, uh, next time.